Good morning. It's Thursday, May 28th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Misplaced Trust. Our scripture is Psalm, chapter 33. What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts, so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. One of the generally misunderstood issues of the relationship of Christian faith to military prowess is assigning naivete to the former and complete trust in the latter. The psalmist, probably King David, is no stranger to military ventures. His remarkable career started in a tussle with a giant, and David was celebrated for victories aplenty, so much so it drove King Saul crazy. David understood battle, and he understood the value of military might. But even with the start of the skirmish with Goliath, David trusted God much more than any earthly strength. Notice 1 Samuel chapter 17. David replied to the Philistine, You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Today the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you and cut off your head. We know David wasn't perfect. Later his mistakes with his family and his fidelity proved that he was an imperfect man, capable of messing up more than most. But at least at this point, David had it all together, using strength, but trusting in God. Fast forward several millennia, and you have the world's population on its knees, not necessarily praying. We've been knocked to our knees by a bug so small we can't see it without a microscope. COVID-19 has taken over our economy, our activity, and all the news cycles unending. The debate rages about how to act, what to do, and whom to avoid, and our trust may be misplaced. I say that because some advocate throwing caution to the winds, simply and naively trusting that they don't have to use common sense. They act as if being a person of faith guarantees them some kind of immunity from biological attack. On the other hand, there are those who imagine the entire effort rests with the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, and all the technology man has marshaled against the little demonic bug. I believe it's time to remember that David took a big risk fighting Goliath, but he also packed more than one stone. And the boy who took down a nine-foot battle-hardened enemy was fighting with faith and a plan. There was nothing naive in a kid accustomed to facing hairy nightmares. As a shepherd, David knew how to go up against the odds. When King Saul questioned him about his chances against the giant Philistine, David replied this, I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turns on me, I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. Let's pray. Father God, we know our trust is to be entirely placed in you alone. You have also given us common sense and strength. Help us to keep enough common sense to use our strength and place our trust in you and not the other way around, placing our trust and strength and using your promises like a vending machine. For you today, whether our enemies are armies or viruses, our trust is misplaced to think we can handle it in our own strength. We must always come to the battle in the name of he who is the Lord of heaven's armies. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.